Supervisor Richard Forster with your report from our Board of Supervisors meeting of Tuesday, October 7th, 2014. Starting off the meeting today under public comment, uh, Jim Foley, our Health and Human Services Director, brought in our new Public Health Officer for the County, replacing Dr. Robert Hartman. Dr. Rita Kerr was introduced and will be our uh, new Health Officer, and we wish her well. John Heisenbuttel uh, spoke on uh, the vision for the future for the upcountry area and uh, this is uh, representing the upcountry community council and uh, just spoke uh, briefly about some of the items discussed at their meeting also uh, board members including myself made comments relative to a recent uh, letter to the editor in the paper criticizing supervisor and chairman of the board ted novelli for his running of the uh, public hearing for the opening of the 45-day common period for the newman ridge project uh, the um, the author of the, edi of the uh, editorial or the letter of the editor that was written, I'm not sure he was at the meeting. I know he was, but I'm not sure he was because there were so many misstatements in there, and that's how I'm going to characterize them the most polite way I can do it. But Chairman Novelli did an exceptional job of running the meeting. Uh, the comment was made that Ms. Sondra Westmore only had three minutes of time and was gaveled down. Uh, by the tape, it shows she had 12 minutes and 45 seconds of time. Um, so that was the one misconception. The other was the amount of people that volunteered to give her, yield her their time, but essentially she wanted to take the issue of the, um, what was being discussed, traffic and circulation, and open up the whole environmental impact report. Chairman did not allow that. She did not like that and uh, tried to control the meeting. It is the job of the chairperson, whether it be Supervisor Novelli, Chairman Novelli, or anyone else, to run the meeting effectively and to control the meeting. And I think he did a very good job at doing that. Uh, in our meeting on October 7th, we had uh, the economic uh, development discussion with the Amateur Economic Development uh, Partnership, is what, uh, is what they're uh, calling themselves now. And um, this partnership, they're trying to get uh, enough money together to go out and do a study on different things. But back to the uh, Amateur Economic Development Corporation. Um, the business, uh, Amador, excuse me, the Amador Business Council was formed seven years ago. Uh, they had uh, have goals of um, generation of revenue sufficient to fund the uh, ec Amador Economic Development Partnership in order to maintain the community wellness. Second is local job expansion. The third is business attraction. And the fourth is to attract members to uh, the uh, business council and to the partnership. So in that uh, vein, Jim Gillette, the president of the uh, Business Council, and Platt, former president, uh, Paul Molinelli, Jr., all spoke, and of course, Jim Conklin, their executive director. Um, what they were requesting was $10,000 from the county, from the Board of Supervisors to allocate. Uh, and this is a budgeted item, not specifically for this area, but for business development of $10,000 in our approved budget. So it did not require a four-fifths vote to get that done. But um, what they were asking is that $10,000 to go into a study. This study would be headed by Dr. Robert Fountain, who is a uh, urban land economics finance and urban planning doctor. He does have his PhD from UCLA. He's out of the Benicia area now. He does have extensive experience in uh, putting together these plans. So um, there were comments that day. Gary Reinald uh, said that uh, this might be good, but um, he was worried about the plan benefiting only one segment of the economy, and that is the Business Council and the Partnerships plan to go out and do a study. The, um, the business community would be the only one that would benefit from it. I, I find uh, some merit in that comment, but on the other side, businesses pay um, sales tax, businesses pay business tax, uh, businesses employ people, and those people that are employed, it helps to improve their quality of life. But going on to the actual study, the study would um, actually be done in two phases, and it would look at an analysis of our local economy. It would look at the uh, quantification of transportation sectors in Amador County. The analysis would identify opportunities for economic development and then uh, provide hypothetical scenarios. It would include uh, $4,000 
out of the $10,000 to purchase a computer, create a model. That, com that computer model could be uh, ongoing for the business council and would uh, belong to them. It would also include Dr. Fountain's time to come up and make presentations. What it does not include is uh, phase two of their plan, which uh, phase two actually gets into uh, some of the meat of the transportation and looks more in-depth at the Caltrans return on investment model that uh, is not being used by ACTC, our Emmett County Transportation Commission. They have chosen rather to use the U-Plan uh, model out of UC Davis. The uh, M-Plan model, I-M-P-L-A-N, it was what uh, Dr. Fountain would use. So with that, the board did approve that on a, uh, a uh, three to one vote with Supervisor uh, Louis Boitano absent. Uh, so we will move forward with uh, the expenditure and uh, hopefully this plan will uh, do more for our business in Amador County and for our residents and help employment. We have talked at length about uh, waters of the United States. This is uh, coming from the Environmental Protection Agency and Corps of Engineers has signed on to this. Um, this will be discussed again at our October 21st meeting. Uh, John Hoffman, our consultant, was unable to make it this day, but he will be back on that October 21st meeting. This is a big item. It affects uh, every county in the United States. And by the way, uh, California State Association of Counties, RCRC, National Association of Counties are all opposing this measure. It is, uh, uh, would basically turn the uh, waters of the U.S. definition into um, oversight and control of everything from a tributary, which is their primary concern, to a puddle in the road. And I'm literally, I mean a puddle in the road is what they would control. So a lot of information on this is available on our county website if you want to access that at uh, www.amador.gov.org. Uh, don't have enough time to get into it in depth here. <clears throat> Another interesting item, especially for Jackson area, but for the county, our old courthouse has been sold uh, up on Court Street. Uh, the buyers are RTR Investments, which uh, are made up of Ron Reagan and Stan Lukowicz. Uh, their intent, as was stated at our meeting, is to keep that building as, uh, as historical and natural as possible. And with that, they have asked for some of the artifacts to stay in place. So that, to me, is a good thing because the county can't afford to do it. We're not in the development business. These people are, but their intent seems to be in the right direction there. A little bit more on the meeting, but I don't have time now. So go to our website, as I said, or call us, 223-6470. And this is Supervisor Richard Forrester. Uh, we'll talk to you again in a couple weeks. We're going to a break. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. You are